Hello, hello, hello. So, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That's the like button for those that don't know what a thumbs up is. And um, also, guys, there's just so much that you can do for me. Just so much that you can do for me. <laughs> okay, for real. Anyway, guys, um, seriously, though. What are y'all doing? Like, are y'all sitting in y'all house, they playing with y'all babies like me when you're supposed to be working? Like, seriously. So let me tell y'all this quick little story. So I actually, so, okay. I know y'all get tired of me telling y'all my routine. Y'all like, girl, okay, we get it. You got a lot to do. Girl, we get it. You busy. We get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. You got five kids. Girl, listen, let me tell y'all. So, when I get up in the mornings, I usually come to the nursery first. Well, that's after, you know, the typical stuff. I mean, I shouldn't have to go through all that, you know. But first thing I do, first place I go when I leave my room, I should say, is I come to the nursery. Because Gabby is nine times out of ten just going to sleep, especially on the weekends. Now, on the weekdays, she sleep. So, I come to the nursery. Usually, my goal is either to paint or to um, make a video. Um, lately, I've been doing more painting than videos, but um, sometimes it's to do a video. So this morning, I was like, okay, I'm going to go do a video, and I'm going to get um, one of the babies changed. Major was supposed to get changed last night, but he, I just took him. He slept in my room because I was like, I'm going to make sure I get him changed, but that never happened. He just ended up standing up with me. So, um, guys, she's I, she's probably showing up the best she's ever shown up as far as color-wise because it is actually natural sunlight coming in and I got the window open. We're sitting right under the window. So, hopefully, she's really um, showing up nicely. But, anyway, I just thought I'd throw it down. But this morning, I came in, so I picked her up because I was like, oh, my gosh, no, no, you've been in this little outfit for the longest. So I went to pick her up, guys. When I picked her up, I was like, oh my gosh, why she feel so nice? Like, I guess because I hadn't picked her up in so many days, I hadn't forgot how she felt. And I guess I'm, listen, I wasn't ready. <laughs> what, did, what did the little young girl say? You ain't ready. I was not ready for it. I was like, she felt so good, like, just like a real baby. Like, her flow is just so fluid. I don't even know what I did with her waiting. I think I tried to wait her like um another baby that I had or something. But oh my god, it paid off. So I waited her. I mean I picked her up so I was like okay. So I'm like I don't think Aspen feel like her. So I went to pick him up and sure enough he feel good but no it's not the same. So I put him back down and I held her and I laid her across my chest. I had her like this right here. Let me show y'all. <laughs> so I lay her across my chest like this. And um, and I just lay her head right there. Oh my gosh, guys. When I tell y'all, it was like my heartbeat just started to slow. And she just felt so good. Like she feels so good now. I think the waiting is the most important important thing if you're if you're a mommy type collector because there's different kind of collectors there's collectors that collect the babies just because they love dressing up the babies there's collectors that collect the babies for the just the art there's collectors that collect the babies for the whole baby feel mommy routine feel and I think I'm a mommy collector I think I fall in all the categories at some point or another but I think a lot of times I'm a mommy collector when I'm definitely in love with the babies and I'm telling you, just holding her, like, I was just like, that's, the waiting is so important. Um, and I love my Aspen pool, but I'm almost tempted, like, let me take him apart and see if I can match her waiting. Because they are, they got the same body, right? They got the same body, same limbs, you know, like, their head is shaped differently, their face is sculpted different, but they like the same size, you know what I mean? So, it's like, listen, mommy, <laughs> this little bambino here, <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> no, seriously, this baby just felt so good, oh my gosh, you ain't got on the same diaper as the other ones, I didn't know that, 
Oh, well, I didn't bring you another diaper because I thought you had. She, I thought she already had on the same diaper. Because remember, guys, I've been putting them all on the same diaper. She still got on her Easter diaper. Um, It's not really Easter, but I call it Easter. So, yeah. Oh, man. That's okay. It's not going to show anyway. But um, these are her little feetsies. And, guys, if you guys don't know who she is, she is Abby. She's um the prototype Abby by Claire Teller. Um, she was painted by me um, and her sweet little self. She um, I have, she has painted eyebrows and then she has rooted eyelashes top and bottom. Um, I use a root, a professional rooter to root her and Aspen. Uh, my Reborns, I just tend to not um, root myself um, for the most part. I think I am going to eventually start rooting some of them. But for right now, I just send them out. And... Um, so yeah so she 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 is and i don't know like i i do love um i do love aspen um hair but i really love the rooting on her um so much it's very versatile but it just lays yeah i mean even like the back it lays but then it's kind of like it's still curly in it. I haven't did nothing or put nothing in her hair in, I don't know, probably over a week or so. Um, I, well, I never put anything but water, but um, her little tummy plate. <laughs> it's her tummy plate. But, um, yeah. So, I just really, oh, you feel even better. Oh, my goodness. We so in love with you. Yes, we is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, I'm supposed to be getting you dressed. She feels so good, guys. It's like you don't want to... I don't know. Like, you know, I don't want to go do nothing else. But, um, what was I telling y'all? Oh, yeah. I love her. I love her hair. It's, um, pretty much, like, one strand at a time. I mean, it may be, like, one or two places that got, you know, maybe two hairs in it. But, um, she's very rooted. And I, her, um, when I was painting her, I, like, modeled her scalp and everything. And I really love the look that it gives to her scalp. I don't know if you got, you guys probably can't see it. And then she has veining and it's in her head. So, in certain spots, sometimes I can see, like, a little vein or something. But her scalp just looks so super real because of the way that, I painted her if that makes sense so I don't know I just I, I really love her I think I think sometimes I call my work peaches and cream sometime but I'm learning that maybe it's not so much of peaches and cream what other people call peaches and cream I call peaches and cream when they be kind of soft and like they're not like overly like just hyper stuff going on but then I guess you know she does have like serious just a couple pimples like they really look like pimples and then um she does have veining in her legs and stuff i don't know but it's just the, the little smile and the way that she's waited for me like i i don't know i love her so and i know a lot of people are waiting for the 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 um the pre-orders for these babies to come out and um I probably should have waited to to um, share her a little bit closer to the pre-orders, but um, I guess I was just excited. But at least you guys get to see, you know, um, what she looks like in different clothes and outfits and stuff like that. So you guys will really be able to really have a really true idea of the sculpt. And, um, Sylvia Esquire, um, she's a pretty much classic prototype artist. Will definitely, um, she did do some photos and when she finished hers, I'm sure she'll have like plenty, like very fancy photos for you guys. Um, my photos are pretty basic, but, um, she, I think she did a great job on the pictures and stuff that she did of her version of the 
Aspen and the Abby. So you guys will get to see that. I'm going to put her on this shirt first. Uh, you know, I don't know why I'm. everything is just so weird about me. Like, I... I think I overstep everything. Why does it matter if I put her pants on before I put her shirt on? Why? Because I want to see her with just the shirt and her diaper on. Just to know if I ever want to let her just wear this with just a shirt and a diaper. Okay? That's why I have to do it this way. If <laughs> Y'all, I am just like, I'm so hyper right now. Because I've been like panic, painting and being manic while I paint. Like, like I've been working with Felix and I got... A, I get so excited when I get to a certain point because I'm like trying to see how he's going to look when he's all done. And so I'm just like all hyped up. So I don't know. First I get hyped up. Then I get overwhelmed. Then I get to a point. I'm probably going to get to a point where I'm just going to be like, I don't know what to do now. Because I do that too. I'll get to a point where I don't know what I want to do. And I will like stop painting. And just look at them because I'm like, like sometimes I don't want to go too far. And sometimes I don't want to do too less um, when it's somebody else's baby. When it's my baby, like, I feel like with my last baby that you guys seen, the ones that's in the chat box that I just showed, um, my last silicone baby, I feel like I probably could have went even more with her. But I wanted her to be soft. And I just kind of, um, I just kind of like just stayed um where I was but the good thing about see the thing about me with my babies I don't want to overdo them because with silicone it's like you can't can't take it back but I can always go back and add more if I feel like I needed to add more when they're my babies because they're here so the more when I get before I root her and stuff like that if I feel like I want to add a little bit of more blush or a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that I can do that because she's here and she's mine and it doesn't matter. But I don't think I will because I think I really love her the way she is. Can you suck your thumb too? Kind of. Probably if I really focus on... So I think she will be cute and just... See? And just the... <laughs> so, yeah. I like this little... Um, these little clothes... Um, so my last baby, she had it on first. Um, I had I had a um like a little box going of baby clothes, and now I think um these two babies, Abby and I don't know what to name her the other baby, but um I think they are gonna be like sharing clothes. Oh my goodness, they fit so cute. Oh my gosh. I even almost want to put you on a little headband. You know, certain brand clothes just really fit the babies like perfect. I love when you can go in and buy something that's newborn size that really fit newborns nicely. Because sometimes you buy stuff and it be like newborn and you're like, it's too big or it's too small. This is like perfect. She is the perfect newborn. And I think she's supposed to be like 19 inches. And so is my other baby. And they both kind of fit these the same way. And they fit fit them so perfect. I love that. See how the pants, like the even the feet, the feet fit pretty good. Pretty perfect. Like this is the heel of the feet. This is the toe. And this is the stitch. And it actually fit in the feet. So the measurements on both sculpts must be really accurate because these clothes fit so perfect. I love that. I really want to get get more of these little outfits for my babies because I really love the way that they fit them. Oh mama. <laughs> You're so sweet. And thanks again Stacy for making this blanket for Lily Lily Grace. Now, all the babies have been using it. So I really love it. I love this blanket. I love the hat, that the hats that come with it. Um, it was a gift from one of my customers slash Dolly friends, and um, I just love it. I it's it's first of all it's beautifully done, and I love the colors. Like one of my favorite colors, 
and it just works so well against so many of my baby's skin tone. I just love it. So can you make me another one? <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Um, but for real. Um, so guys, let me know what baby you guys want to see next get changed. Um, I did change Maggie. I don't know. I'm I'm just really not bonding with Maggie right now. I don't bond. I have a couple babies that I don't bond with. I'll talk about that in the next video.